Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have some Minecraft news to share with you all, and this is actually some pretty cool Minecraft 1.9 news. One Mi Minecraft 1.9 is, of course, the next big update coming out for Minecraft on the PC, and they're trying to change the combat in it, because it is the combat update, quite a bit to make it more balanced and make it a bit more fun than just spam the swords of people. A lot of people have been unhappy so far, and I think if you've been unhappy at the previous changes, there's a lot of big changes that are going to make the game better, but in a way that a lot of people might not like uh, through this next week's snapshot. So I'll be talking about that in today's video but please do like the video if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's me want to see more Minecraft news like this on the channel but let's get straight into it already, shall we so this week there has been a surprising amount of radio silence from Dinnerbone just tweeting about bugs and stuff but in the meantime we have got stuff from Jeb to do with combat and this is quite serious stuff and quite major stuff because first of all this is a pretty simple change it's just oh we're changing the shield recipe so this will be the new shield recipe it doesn't obviously if you look at it you're like wait a minute it makes a square thing but you make that weird shape to make it this is so it leaves space for the uh, the banner because it's a patternless base apparently for that which is uh, going to be a nice little change and again that's very simple but the second thing he said is quite controversial and a lot of people uh, might like or might not like it because he said I've done some combat rebalancing and of course the last combat rebalance was making it so that you know swords uh, you know like if you hit uh, really rapidly after your next hit it actually reduced the damage massively this uh, combat rebalance is going to make swords slightly faster with regenerating, with axes being a bit different and bows being fired in the offhand slot. So this is going to be really, really cool. The option for bows to be fired in the offhand slot means you might be able to dual wield bows, but even if you can't, it means that you'll have a bow and a sword in your hand at once, which is so crazy. Uh, to me, this is one of the, you know, kind of crazy overpowered things, because being able to hit people with really cool arrows while still being able to defend yourself at close means that, you know, combat's going to change a lot, maybe for the better, maybe for the worse, but this is a big big change by itself because uh, you know at the very least it's gonna be fun it's gonna be funny and I think it's cool but I really do worry about uh, you know like you've got your poison arrows and you're charging with your sword at the same time Again, maybe in practice it works differently, but still, uh, from what it sounds like, this is going to be a very fun little snapshot. It might be reverted, but being able to fire bows in the offhand slot is pretty cool. But the other thing, you know, the swords being slightly faster and axes being a bit different, this hints to me like they're trying to separate the swords and the axes while still having them both be viable combat weapons. Because right now, if you get a stone axe and a wooden sword, they've got the same amount of damage, and the wooden sword used to be able to block, but right now they're just the same. It's like, which do you want to use? But imagine the stone axe did more damage than the wood sword, but it recharges slower. So uh, to actually fight with the stone axe, there's a little bit of strategy in like going in and out of combat. I think you could do something really cool with that, and it'd mean there's counterplay and there's all these different things, and I think it'd be pretty cool to say the least. So yeah, uh, in 1.9, the, the sword, shield, uh, sword, shields, and bows are going to be all different, as well as axes, which is pretty crazy by itself. But the second uh, big change here is one that's uh, kind of sad to me, because golden apples are one of my favorite items, but he said another thing, golden apples have been nerfed. Regeneration 2 and Regeneration 5 were a bit excessive, which I will agree, the Enchanted Golden Apple is a bit excessive. Uh, I think the regular Golden Apple is just about balanced, but no, uh, the Golden Apple uh, nerf is going to be a thing. And he says the Golden Apple is a lose-lose design choice for me. If we nerf them, or we nerf gold farms. There's no way to win. So, yeah, basically he's saying uh, part of combat that's not great is gold and to, to me, I kind of see that, I guess. Uh, Enchanted Enchant Golden Apples, if you can get a proper way to find them, they are insane. Uh, I think right now, at the very least, they seem like they're balanced by just how much gold you need, but with a gold farm, a big enough one anyway, you can make a lot of them and kind of win or combat, so they're nerfing a little bit, which is a shame, because uh, they don't really see enough play as it is right now, in my opinion, but uh, if at least they're never going to become crazy OP and break the system right now, so that's nice, I guess. Anyway, you might notice all of these changes are designed to do one thing, you know, the big uh, armor nerf, which is coming, the big, you know, nerf to how fast you can get your swords, it's designed to make Minecraft combat an actual part of the game, because Right now, Minecraft combat is kind of just this thing you work around. I mean, you might see in the gameplay in the background, it's just have the better stuff hit them faster. And although that's kind of fun, it has its own uh, kind of element to it. Uh, having there be a little bit of skill to it, being like time your hits just right, uh, you know, make sure that all the stuff is balanced, being able to fire at the same time. I think these uh, adding extra strategy to the game can make it more fun with because, uh, you know, it makes the current game not quite as easy if you, your current skills aren't going to transfer across immediately. But I think it can do some really cool things in terms of just like, oh, yeah, the game's now going to have some strategy. Should I go there or should I try and craft this axe first because I reckon I can I can win if I get my right axe skills or should I you know get make this arrow and use this my sword. There's so many different things you can do if you revamp Minecraft's combat system from the ground up to be something like this and without changing too many things I think Jeb has been making some big changes to the game to make it actually work and I think if they improve the netcode too we've got a great update on our hands. So I hope you did like the video please do like it 
if you did like it, share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know what you think of these combat update changes in the comments down below. I'm curious to see what you have to say. And other than that, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.